We're Jason and Josh, loving and laughing our way through life one vlog at a time. So come along with us. The journey is just getting started. Good morning and welcome back to another daily road trip, road trip vlog. vlog. There we go. We're starting in the car today. We are. We're just waiting for the girls. Because the girls that were slow. actually ready so they told at us. 8 o'clock and we weren't even showered. We're now showered in the car waiting. Hello. Who's Hello. telling the truth here? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought that was them yeah. then, but it's actually a, a van going past. Um, it's our second to last day. Know, shut the door. Yeah. Only because of that van. It's um, nowhere near, but it's fine. Yeah, we're going home tomorrow night. But before that, we've got lots to do. We're going to the south coast today. We're going to go and walk around the spit to see Hurst Castle and the lighthouse. Spit, then, the we're spit? Prob <laughs> then we're probably going to get the ferry back from there to Key Haven. Yep. And then we're going to drive through the New Forest and go and do the Rhine for <coughs> ornamental drive. Really excited for the New Forest because we've always wanted to. I've always wanted to go to New Forest. And then who knows what we're going to do after that? Depends what time we've got. Well, we need to go to Asda because we need to go and buy some new underwear. But all that we're we going run to say out. is we're going to make the most of these next two days. Yes, we are. So what are we do tomorrow? I'll tell you later. He won't tell me, so... I haven't told you all holiday. Why would you think today would be different? I don't know. Exactly. Don't now know. it's time for me to be Rihanna. I have, I have a few ideas, but I think they're ruled out. It's time for me to be Rihanna because the girls are here, so I'm going to shut up and drive. Are they here? Where? Where are they? Oh, no, can't behind see us. Oh, oh. Here they come. See them. What time to go this, ladies and gentlemen? So we have arrived in Key Haven. We have. In the New Forest, which you might not look much like the New Forest at the moment because we're by the sea. And that is what we have to walk out onto over there, all the way around to where the sun is sparkling, to Hurst Castle over there. Well, it looks pretty. That's it does amazing. look very pretty. It's very picturesque. It's very picturesque indeed. As you say. As you say. It's just a saying, as you say. As you say. Birds, these are. Oh, hello. Sorry, we've got no food. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just like you haven't chucked me anything yet. Sorry. So we are now officially on the spit. spit. On the spit. <laughs> on on our walk to Hearst Castle. Google tells us it should take us about half hour from here. Probably about ten minutes of our walk. Yeah, we do tend yeah, to walk a bit quick. But um, we'll let you know. Let's time check it now. What's the time, Joshua? Uh, 18 minutes past 10. 18 minutes past 10. So we shall see what time we arrive at Hearst Castle. <laughs> it doesn't fit. The camera makes it look like it's really far, but it doesn't feel like it's that far. You've only got to literally walk down here and along there. I mean, I feel like you've made that sound really close, and it's not that close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not the easiest uh, no, I mean like this is like challenging this walk. Up this steps. No, 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 no steps, any food though, yet. But we have gravel. <laughs> so exactly 20 minutes after Josh said, oh it's not that far, it's only up there and over there. We are still walking. Yeah, but you're not adding the fact that you've stopped loads of times taking pictures, done this, done that. There's not a constant walk. That's true. So But we're still not there. It's yeah. still over there. There you go, it's only there. <laughs> you said that last time! <laughs> so we've just made it to the castle thing, whatever it is. Now, hang on, time check. 
can't see my watch. 10.52. 10.52. And Jason has just said, I forgot my face mask. But, the, but it's okay because I've got a jacket with a hood, so if I just wear it the wrong way around, I just have my hood over my face. Honestly. So we're hoping if there's a cap deal or something, Shop. they're going to sell it. Shop. Yeah. Because some people. Some people, some people, some shops have been selling them, so... Well, every English heritage place we've been to so far has. Why are you sideways? I just realised. Okay. Oh, man. Every English heritage place we've been to so far has some them. So this will be the one place that doesn't, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah. So I'll just have to lift his spirit to the other place my face. Just a quick update, he's managed to get a face mask. English heritage to the rescue. Oh, right. I don't know about you, but I feel like this blue is rather fetching on me, so maybe it worked out for the best. It's very beautiful. You're, you're very dark now. Oh. They really have rolled out the big guns today, haven't they, babe? They have. They knew we were coming. That's for sure. Faux show, sister. Faux show. Faux show. So Sharon had a bit of a problem with her shower this morning, so we said... Here you go, Sharon. In you get. They really have rolled out the big guns on this one. That is a big league girthed one. I haven't seen one like that. That's, That's a bit huge, isn't it? And then you get to the end. Hello, <laughs> little <laughs> <laughs> No comments, guys. No comments. So we've just gone to the calf because we couldn't find the toilets. So we asked the lady where the toilets were. They were literally just round the corner. Yeah. So we're going to do that after our sandwiches, flapjack. Coffee, he's got Coke, Diet Coke. We was um, gonna um, get sausage rolls, but they weren't ready yet. So, no. so back we to resort to a cheese and chutney sandwich. Which has, I'm actually kind of excited about. Mm. Better be nice chutney. Bloody better. Do you know what I fancy? Me. That. And a cheese board. Oh. <laughs> or a smorgasbord. Oh. And what did you get, a mother? Tea. Just a tea? No snackerinos? <laughs> the heck are you doing? <laughs> you having fun? You want a bit of a boogie? Oh yeah. Dance it. Oh yeah. Work it, baby. So we've come up onto the top of the castle walls now, where you can see right out to the Isle of Wight over there. And then all the way back along the spit. What? We walked up, which looks a long way from here. This angle looks really long. It looks further from here back than it did from there here. I think it's because you can see straight along, whereas there you're at an angle to it. Going round, so yeah, it long. that's probably you true. Look that way doesn't even look like you're in England. Also, let's just appreciate Josh's hair for a moment. It it's having fun. It's having fun. It's a bit of a dance. I just said though, I don't think it's as windy up on top as what it is actually down in that little gap. You say that. I feel like the wind like funnels it through. Like the, the actual walls either side well, funnels it goes the wind. Down and round, isn't it? Yeah. So, so but yeah. I'm comfortable. It's not too chilly. I have to get a warm beverage you know, soon. Oh. Yeah, not look. We haven't long had one, but I'm always down for another you coffee, know, you know that. I had a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. Uh, so, never mind. I just want to use those weird toilets again. Let's, uh, let's go have a look at the, the lighthouse. Yeah. And then uh, when we get over there as well, Josh can tell you the toilet story. So we think it's definitely windier over this side, so apologies if there's a lot of wind noise, but we think this little tiny boat is the ferry that we've got to get back later. Let's hope it's not too choppy. My God, it's windy up this bit. You can tell by like your mum's hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it wobbling. God. <laughs> it's fine. It's been here for hundreds of years. What are the chances that it wobbles and collapses the day we're here? So we've come up into this little box with a bit of shelter. You can hear the wind whistling. Whoa. And you can see the door banging. Yeah, Tell them the toilet story. Basically, the toilets are outside. It's the urinal. It's literally, you walk up outside and you pee. In the sunshine? In the sunshine. It's quite nice. So I was like, <laughs> getting a towel. 
half past seven a week. The noise in here, can we just... I could go down and take a picture of the girls. <laughs> I can see. see. We can see. We're in the gun store. Or the ammo store. What was it, Sharon? Yeah, this is the, uh, where they used to keep all the guns and the ammunition. And it's very dark in here, but obviously we've lightened it up for the camera. The phone. There's just loads of little dark passageways off the side with all these random shells in. It's kind of cool, but it's also creepy at the same time. Can you see me now? Can you, can you see me now? Yes, we can see you. We're in the Master Gunner's office. We are. Where they had to put the gun out there to fire. And then on the floor... Gee whiz. <laughs> what are you Show doing? Should I hear that? <laughs> no, I heard a crack. Oh dear, I thought you'd been shot. Anyway, what I was going to say is on the floor, you can see, yes, it is a trip hazard, but you can see the rail where they'd have swiveled the back of the gun to aim it where they needed to aim it. Out that way. To fire at will. Fire at the disco. I don't know who Will was, but they were firing at him. Oh. Have you not seen the movies? Is that toast on there? Toast? Oh my god. No, it's wood. Oh, it's looking like some toast. Look at the size of that. Right. Hold on. That is enormous. Let me just stand by it so you can get it. Look at them massive tools. Hold on. Wow. Let's add another. Just Let's add another massive tool to the picture. <laughs> They have. <laughs> Do you know who else has joined us? Stop hitting me with your mask, you weirdo. Do you know who else has joined us? Michelle. That meant to be another stupid dad joke. So I was just going to say, it's not like your classic castle, what you'd imagine to be a castle, but there's a lot to say. I like, Every little, there's loads of these little rooms and passageways off the sides with all these little exhibitions and stuff in. And it's fascinating, I love it, it's like a little maze. Maze! I think we can go up again in a bit as well, which you're going to love because it's windy. I might stay downstairs. <laughs> it's quite cold. So we've just come up onto the, another top bit, which has got some great views across the lighthouse and the Isle of Wight again. But we were just walking down here, which is where I was recording the bit where I was telling you that there's a, like a maze and there's all these little bits to go in. And something banged down here and it frightened the life out of us. So we're trying to work out what it was, but there's a window that every now and then in the wind just keeps banging against the thing. So it's Somewhere uh, in there. It's nothing paranormal, it's all good. We think. We think. So we're in the main tower a bit now. We are. There's not a lot in here, but uh, we've just come in for a little Ooh. look around. But there's a floor up above which we're going to go up to in a second where we think that banging window is, and it is creaky as. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well let's go out then. <laughs> so we're up on the top of the tower now, which is the highest point of the wall. That's a big step. The highest point of the castle, and actually the least windy and the warmest. So much so that he's sat there in the sun, warming up. Um, but this is actually the Henry VIII section of the original castle, the Henrician castle. So it's got a, a similar shape about it to um, Pendennis and some moors and those places that we've already visited. So. This is the most recognisable bit of the castle, above the creaky floor, which we're glad to report hasn't caved in. So I've just used the toilets before we go, because um, Josh told me it was an experience. Because the urinals are outside, and it uses seawater to wash your hands and everything. Um, and I got in there and I was like, there's no way these are meant to be toilets. And then I read a sign on the wall to say they were actually adapted from the original soldiers' toilets. They're rank. <laughs> So that's our visit to the castle over, but now it's time to head back. Uh, well, we're going to use the ferry. ferry. So we'll have to see what we prefer, the walk or the ferry. I think it's going to be cold and windy and choppy.
time to board. Oh, all aboard. I was gonna say choo-choo, but it's not, it's a ferry. Well, it's a boat, it's a small boat. It's a very small boat. Oh, the pontoon's bouncing. On the pontoon. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm, glad, I'm glad he said don't go down the back. I'm not sure how I feel about the front. It wasn't choppy at all and it actually wasn't that cold. However, slight difference to the uh, boat trip we went on last week. Yeah, it was baking hot for that. <laughs> but what I was going to say is, I said when we got on board that I'm quite glad you didn't see us at the front. I'm even happier now that you didn't see us at the front because those poor people at the front got soaked. Yeah, literally every time they got to a wave it slopped up straight into them. Or one, when one of the other ferries come the other way as well, that seemed to be the worst. It hit the, um, I can't think what they call it, wake of the other boat and they got soaked. Um, I'm not sure what it'd be like on a rainy day either, because there's not much cover. So I'm glad yeah. the sun's shining. I'm glad we've got clear blue skies, and it's yeah. quite beautiful. But four pound each, I think that was a pleasant ride, and I'm glad we've done both. I'm glad we've done the walk out there, and I'm glad we've done the ferry back. Yeah. So, you know, if you're going to come and do this, the choice is yours. So, quick update, we're in Limington in the car. Eating a Greg. Eating a Greg's. We thought it'd be really easy to find somewhere to eat here, but apparently every single cafe in the town is doing takeaway only. So we ended up in Greg's. Um, so I've just smashed a baguette in my face while well, he and everybody else still carries on eating theirs but we are about to start the Rhinefield Ornamental Drive we've got about a 10 minute, 15 minute drive that's to it your line. that's to the first car park oh. which is inside the drive so mm. um, we're heading to Whitefield Moor that is our starting point for the drive so everybody ready? Mm. Mm. I'm filming a Ford. Oh my God. We're going through. <laughs> through a Ford. We're going through the Ford. I can see horses. So we're on our first stop on the ornamental drive now. The new forest. We had an unexpected start through a Ford, which you may have seen some of, but Josh had struggled to get the camera ready in time and it, the footage all looked a bit dodgy. So you might see a little bit of that. You're welcome. It was playing out, if it, not, was, it was stuttering. If not, it was wet. We drove through it and it was pretty. We could drive back through it. No, we're not. We're going, we're, going, we're going the opposite way. But it's all good. I'm sure you'll see lots of other things that you want to see. Let's walk and talk. Let's walk and talk. Walk and talk. Because we are at our first stop, which is Whitefield Moor. Um, and there are lots of horses in front of us. Are they horses or ponies? Are they cows? They're cows. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. They're cows, they're horses. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's both. Well, there's cows and horses. It's a twofer. You're lucky. <laughs> So we can confirm that they are in fact New Forest ponies, not horses. They're definitely around, as you can talking, see. I thought you were talking about the um, cows, I was going to say they're cows. No, them ones are right in front of you are definitely cows. This isn't cow poo though, this is pony poo. Pony poo? Oh. Um, the ponies are over there. So here are the cows. Stop walking, Josh! <laughs> You're getting in your mum's photos. These are definitely cows, these ones. Definitely cows. We've got cows! Oh, motherfucking loads of cows. That one's licking, that one's... I don't know. Cool! We've made it to the ponies. This one's posing for Josh. They're just not phased at all, are they? Like, he couldn't care less whether you were there or not. Too busy munching away on that grass. Uh... 
Pony selfie. I'm just waiting for him to turn around and kick him one. <laughs> you having a good dinner? Do you not get bored just eating grass? Obviously not. Obviously not. Go on, treat yourself to a buttercup. Hold it under your chin and see if you like butter. Oh, you're gorgeous. Back on the road again. Just can't wait to be back on the road again. There are people walking down the side of the road and bikes and cars coming the other way. So we're at our next stop on the drive, which is Blackwater. Home of the tall trees. So we need to go off and see if we can find the giant sequoias. I mean, that one there is quite big in itself, but it's not the biggest. So I don't think anybody else is uh, sharing my sense of excitement right now. <laughs> this is a giant sequoia tree, which is a cousin of the giant redwoods in California. And I'm touching it. <laughs> it's all fair. I mean, it's amazing. We can't point the camera up. Josh might find a way in a minute, but it just looks amazing. It, just, it goes on forever. It try goes to the moon. Point it up. Look, it goes to the moon. Oh, oh, there we go. It literally goes to the moon and back. That go. is a I bloody tall tree. It is really tall. Very tall, man. But it's not the biggest. Let's go find it. No, they're all out there somewhere. Oh, it won't point that way. We can find it now. <laughs> yes. So Jason's found our Christmas tree. And I have an idea. You're going to put it where the pool is? Not where the pool is. We're going to leave the pool there filled with water and then put the tree in the pool so that it doesn't dry out. But then the roots will grow and then pierce the pool. Then we'll get a new pool. Okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Oh God. Well, that's a bit creaky. Was that Sharon or the gate? It's a bit My of both. My bones creaking. <laughs> so we're obviously on the trail of the tall trees. Oh, that sun's a bit oh. gleaming in your eyes. There we go. So we're obviously on the trail of the tall trees and there's the giant sequoias and these massive Douglas fir trees and then there's this, that's tiny, it's a tiny little tree but I love it, it looks sad and droopy, a bit like Eeyore <laughs> and I want to take it home, it's can we cute. take it home? It's very droopy and eeyore -y. Can we take it home? If you want, if you can get that in the car then go for it. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh, it's a bit sharp. Oh, no. It is. It's sharper than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> Small, but packs a punch. So this tree has formed some weird shapes, but look. It's a reindeer. It's a reindeer. We we'll have to go a bit closer. No, think. we can see it. Everyone can see it. It's a reindeer. <laughs> so I just made Sharon get up on this tree for a photo. And what's happened to you now you're up there? Got She's got cramp in her foot. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice place for us to leave you. It's been a nice, it's been a nice journey. You've had, you've had fun. We've had traumatic moments. This could be one of them. I've got to get down. After one, two, three. So we're on to the next bit of the drive now. We've just crossed the cattle grids again. Off to Boulderwood Deer Sanctuary. I take it there's deer there. There is, and hopefully we'll see some. I like deer, mate. I like deer as well. So we're at our next stop on the ornamental drive. We're at the Boulderwood Deer Sanctuary. I'm gonna oh. see your deer in the deer sanctuary. Well, we hope, oh, we didn't keep Sharon on the lead. Never mind. Um, we hope we are going to see some deer. You're not guaranteed to see them. If I don't see any deer, I'm gonna come back. You can't because you're not guaranteed to see them. They wander free. So um, there's a lookout point just down here where it said that you can often see them. There are people looking, so I'm hoping that means they're well, there. If not, I can see wooden deer, so that's good enough for me. That counts, that counts as a deer. If not, we'll dress Sharon up. That's bright. <laughs> can anybody see any deer? Any movement? 
We're going on a deer hunt. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Well, that's actually going to be a song though. It is a song, isn't it? It's a bear hunt. It's a bear hunt, but I adapted it, but nobody bothered to carry it on. I don't know how it goes. Me neither, that's the only line I know. I think we should make a pact now, Joshua. If we don't see any deer, we should drown our sorrows by eating a bag of the fudge that we bought back in Limington. Deal. Deal? No, I don't want to see any deer. Oh no, I still want to, but I mean we could still eat a bag of fudge, let's face it, this is us. That's true. But the quick story behind that, we went into Lewington and when we spent some time... Oh, telling me the story. No, no, no. When we spent some time in Cornwall and Devon recently, we kept seeing Rowley's Fudge Pantry everywhere and we was like, oh, we must get some, we must get some. And we forgot every when time. When you last said, oh, we'll go in there after the boat ride, we didn't actually realise it was, ooh, a Sunday. And by the time we got back, it was like it was shut. five. It was shut. And we weren't expecting to see a Rowley's Fudge Pantry in Lymington. And we did, so I was like, right, quick, get in. So we got in there and we got three bags for 10 quid. So we haven't found any deer yet, but we found this weird ass fallen tree, which made for a good Instagram photo of nothing else. That's cool, it's incredible. So we haven't seen any deer yet, but there are hoof prints in this mud. So that lets us know that the deer aren't just inside the fence over there, they are out in here anyway. So they could literally be anywhere in here which just makes things a little bit more exciting. Also what's quite exciting is Josh just fell over this. Really hurt. <laughs> I mean, how can you not see it? Well, it's it huge. Oh, he thought he saw a deer over there. What was it that you saw? <laughs> so another sign. We've got fresh deer poop. They could literally be anywhere at any time behind a tree in the ferns. It's kind of exciting, it's also kind of terrifying. So we've just had a tip off from a lovely Dutch couple that there's a single deer up here to the right somewhere. We're on your trail, we're coming for you. <laughs> okay, so we can see, we can see the deer down the bottom. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up, they're quite far away. But we're gonna try and get a little bit closer. They just come trotting across the road. The deer trot? Whatever. They come running across the road. There's one right next to the road on this side. And there's one to the left by the tree as well. We'll just walk a bit slowly. So we don't want to startle them. I'm just going to leave the camera rolling. So whoever gets to edit this one, I'm sorry. Especially if it's me. Wait, let me see if I can zoom in. There they are. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, it's like a tribe of them. Hi, guys. Oh, wow. That is so cool. It's like the live action remake of Bambi. I'm not sure which way they ran. I know they ran onto this side of the road, but. Straight through there. There it is. We can see you. Oh, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Did everybody enjoy that? Yeah. I feel like I've got three D's arses looking at me. Lovely, lovely. You're we may have got temporarily misplaced, but we found our way back. We made it. We, oh, got drastically got lost in the we did not get drastically lost. We are now, even though we saw some deer, we're still going to eat some fudge because so, sorry about that. that was traumatic. Also, I have chafe holes in my jeans, so these jeans are now defunct. Oh my god! <laughs> no way, that just happened. Yep. Oh, he's touching <laughs> me. <laughs> Your hands are cold. Anyway, let's drive back to the hotel. Hello guys. They're right at the side of the car. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Hi. There's something on the lens. <laughs> There's still something on the lens. It's fine, it's because of the sunlight.
<laughs> okay, so we've had a bit of a fiasco with the McDonald's. They forgot Josh's chicken legend. So we've just had to go back and they've replaced the whole meal. For a whole meal. Yep, so he's happy, he's munching away. It's all good, it's all good. But it is time for the last reveal of the road trip. Oh. Dum, dum, dum. So. 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 <clears throat> Tomorrow, we are going home. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. But before that, we're getting rid of the old goat. Are they showering? But before that, first thing in the morning, we are going to. Get out of bed, get showered. Have a poo. <laughs> we are going to an English heritage property mm -hmm. called 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 Dunno. No, it's not called Dunno. Dunno. It's called Old Serum. Never and it's the old city of Salisbury. So it's just outside Salisbury. We literally drove past it the other day. It was on all the signs and none of you even batted an eyelid. It's brilliant. <laughs> this road trip has worked out <laughs> amazingly. <laughs> <laughs> but after Old Serum, which probably won't be there that long, although we said that about Hearst Castle today. Yeah. Anyway, we are stopping off on our way home in the city of Winchester. They've got a cathedral there, got oh, no, They have got a cathedral there. And they've also got some castle ruins, which is English heritage but free to visit, a bit like Dunny. <clears throat> but also it's a great place to stop and have lunch and that before we go home and have like a final hurrah. Hurrah! 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 hurrah. So that's our last day planned. Uh, sorry. Fucking hell. Sorry, extras. <laughs> what? She's part goat, part pig. <laughs> She's a gig. <laughs> <laughs> My arm aches. Bye. Let me be that song.